Hello there, my name is Jill Renee Feeler, and we do accessible enlightenment without the bullshit for the real world. Um, let's uh, start by doing a connection exercise. I encourage you to close your eyes if you're in a safe place to do so and take a couple nice deep breaths with me. Mm, nice. Um, this is going to be quick. I have a client session in 11 minutes, so I wanted to put something uh, together, though. I was thinking about something that I wanted to share, and so I'll just do it right here in a nice, neat little way. Some of you know who Steven Pinker is. Uh, he spells Steven, S-T-E-V, as in vase, E-N, and Pinker is P-I-N-K-E-R. And I noticed something about his social media accounts a few months ago. He disables comments on everything he posts or everything that somebody posts for him. And I just love that move. 99% um, of the interaction on comments um, I personally you know, appreciate and I find useful and beneficial and, and all of those things. Um, but I love how his approach is just like, okay, here you go. You may not like this. I had, you know, I'm not making myself available to discuss it <laughs> and I'm not making room, uh, for trolls to, you know, diss it or feel like we're having a conversation when we're not all those things. So I, I think the reason that I feel led to talk about that today is that I know a lot of you feel at a deep level of yourself like you have something you want to be more of in this world, which is creating layers of yourself and sharing those layers of yourself publicly with others, people that you know, and maybe people that you don't know. And one of the things that I notice in my client and in my coaching work that holds people back is the potential criticism um, or potential, you know, flack, you know, whatever, lack of appreciation that is so common and I think getting more and more common on any sort of social media type of platform. So I wanted to just offer that anyone can approach it the way Steven Pinker does. You don't have to be a, a PhD, you know, who teaches at Harvard. I think he teaches at Harvard. Um, you don't need to be some level of, you know, achievement, success, expertise, mastery, respectability to utilize social media in the way that you want to. Okay. Um, and I think sometimes we forget that there's a part of us that feels like, well, those are the rules we have to play by them. And I've spoken on this topic before about how I handle negative comments and how I handle troll behavior on my social media, um, accounts just in general, because I don't want to make time for what feels in some ways like somebody's graffiti or, um, Anyway, <laughs> also, I love to share and I, I'm guessing that there's a part of you that wants to share your ideas and your perspectives too. Now, I know another layer of hesitation that some people have in creating more content for others to consider and explore is what if nobody cares? I mean, what if there's like no response? Um, what if nobody likes it? What if it doesn't help anybody? And I know my motivation when I first started sharing my podcasts before they were called podcasts, it was on blog talk radio. It was coming, actually we're coming up on the anniversary. It was January 10th, 2010, or maybe it was January 10th, 2011. I can't remember what year it was, but it was a long time ago. And I remember a friend of mine saying, well, oh my gosh, like that's a live thing. What if nobody listens? And it was so interesting because my, my intuitive response to her was, I said, Paige, I don't think it's about how many people listen. My primary motivation right now is that I'm letting myself share what I feel wants to be said and offered and inserted in a way into this world. 
that was the only thing I can control, number one, what I was offering, how it's received. I have very little to no control over that. And I was being honest with myself about that from the beginning. So it's very possible that some of you that do feel like you are a creative being or you have some messages to share or inspiring ideas or new philosophies, which is what I do, offer new philosophies to explaining this reality, viewing this reality, being in this reality. And for anyone that has that inclination within you, you can always run across barriers and obstacles that your own brain is putting there. So the only the only person that can really um, undo or work around those obstacles that you're putting in your own way is you. I can help and I'd love to help. But I don't know. I mean, how long have you been saying you wanted to do something or talking about doing something and your walk isn't matching your talk, your even your self talk, what what is it going to take? And I am one of those teachers in enlightenment and consciousness that loves to support that you are the authority over your life. So if you want to write a book, then write a book and I can probably advise you on ways to do that more intelligently. Um, I've done three now. I'm happy to help with those types of decisions because I have done three and I think I have done them intelligently and I don't have boxes of my books that I had to buy. I don't recommend that. Talk about pressure and it can be demoralizing if they're not moving, <laughs> right? Um, but if you've been telling yourself that you need to do that or that you have to do that or another intuitive or psychic or reader made it, they portrayed it in a way that you know, you have to write books, you need to write your story, you need to tell the world that. And I have a very different interpretation of what is uh, coming through from your team, from source, from Jesus, you know, whatever. And it it's never like she has to do this, Jill, you need to tell her she has to do this. It's like, oh, uh, to me, that's a very cringy energy pattern that I think the majority of readers on the planet still utilize. And I just find it so unfortunate. Um, and it's it's not even it's to me, it's not real. It's not helpful. And it creates a lot of other self sabotaging behaviors, because maybe that layer of you that doesn't want to be told you have to write the book is fighting for what I would help you uh, confirm that, of course, you don't have to write a book, you weren't born because you have to write a book, you were born to be a you. And you get to decide if that means that you are someone who writes a book, <laughs> or you are someone who shares you know, very expanded ideas on Facebook, you know, you get to write the story of yourself, and what you say yes to and what you say no to your team does not your team, your spirit guides, your higher self does not have more authority over you than you do. Your soulful layers want to be in support of you. Your soulful layers are not asking or inferring that you are in service to it. That's a big one. That's a big one. It's totally different. Yeah. So I, I hope that was clear. I hope that was helpful. I know this is a really quick message. Uh, feel free to go to my website, jillreneefeeler.com. And if you want to sign up for a free 15 minute um, next steps planning call, and I have a little survey that I have you fill out beforehand. Um, that's so corporate of me that I create surveys for you to fill out. But yes, I do. And I do have that <laughs> corporate MBA strategic planner uh, version of Jill. That's that's still a part of me that likes to keep things organized and authentic and intelligent. Um, anyway, so that next steps planning call at www.advancedspiritualconnection.com. Now, some of you may be listening to this thinking, I don't want it for spiritual connection. Then just set up the call anyway, <laughs> we don't have to focus on that. And I'll get that vibe from your um, from you anyway, given my gifts of spirit, and given how you fill out the survey. Okay, so I'd love to meet with you. I'd love to uh, help you decide your next steps. And I'd love to have help you undo some of that really codependent version of enlightenment, self help and spirituality that is just 
really getting in the way of a lot of people fully accessing their sense of wholeness and well-being that we all have access to, okay? Yes. All right. I love you guys. I hope that's helpful. Bye-bye for now.